In other news tonight, a missing persons case out of Powell County kind of reads like a movie script, but it is real life to a mother and her family grieving the disappearance of Sean Glover. Joanne Carey has been searching for Sean for the past 15 months. Now about to spend another Christmas without him, she's begging for those who know what happened to give Bluegrass Crime Stoppers a call. According to the report, Sean was last seen at the Clay City Inn on Winchester Road. To a lot of people, Sean Glover's story may just be another headline, but to his mother, it is the nightmare that's kept her restless since September 27, 2019. This is Sean and Steve's little boy. It was our, our last picture together. Yeah. And it's a mother's intuition that tells her Sean won't be coming back. But we do know that he's dead and they took his body somewhere. We don't know. We're trying to just locate his body. That's the main thing. Where this story starts is about the only thing Joanne Carey is sure of. The insulin bag Sean depended on was the only sign of the 29 year old left behind at the Clay City Inn, the last place Sean was seen. And the guy at, that was running the motel said that Sean was there and that there was an altercation and that he left. But he didn't leave alive. I know that for a fact. Joanne hoped time would shed more light on what happened that day. Instead, it's just raised more questions. You can see him. He's, he's really watching this road like I don't want to be seen. For instance, this surveillance video from the house next door to the one where Sean was living shows what his family says is a terrified Sean Glover. 11:15 uh, in the morning on the 27th, 2019. Which was the day he laid The it. day that uh, he disappeared. Uh, you can see him back here behind this trailer. A month later, the home where Glover was living with his girlfriend burned. Powell County authorities ruled it arson, but the fire marshal says no remains were found inside. Over the next several months, his family made trips from their home in Lebanon to rural Powell County, hoping to turn over a new stone or rattle the conscience of those in the know. We started one end of Powell County and went to the other end on the highways the back roads, the side roads, and just everywhere that that is not on anybody's property. The investigation hit a roadblock over the summer. We found out that the deputy that was working his case has quit. Now where do they turn? Desperate, they put it in the hands of Crime Stoppers, hoping the promise of cash will compel someone to tell what they know. Solving a case like this, a cold case for missing persons, it requires a lot of pieces to come together. And Detective Anthony DeLimpo of the Lexington Police Department is ready to listen. It could be something as little of somebody remembering back in September 2019 that they had seen somebody walk through their backyard or maybe they had seen some dirt moved or uh, something on their property that was damaged to fence or something of those kind of things or a suspicious car that was parked in the driveway at that time that had a certain description that they remember. Um, all those are important. Important for this family to have the answers they're so desperately seeking. Every day is the same misery. You never get out of it. And people don't understand when you take somebody's life, you don't only take their life, you affect the whole family. The Powell County Sheriff told me today they got a tip as recently as this fall and they will look into every single one that comes in. Crime Stoppers offers you a completely anonymous way to get your tip to detectives. You can give them a call at 253-2020 or submit your information online. No name necessary and what you know could put $1,000 in your pocket.